I'm gonna build a kalimba! First, I had to choose what wood to use. I decided to use paduk wood for the front and maple for the back. Paduk wood is native to tropical regions of Africa, Southeast Asia and India and is known for its vibrant red colour. And maple is commonly used in the construction of musical instruments. I used this colour design on an ocarina I tried to build a few months ago. The ocarina turned out somewhat disappointing. I cut a rough shape I wanted my kalimba to be. I liked the idea of having something that fit in my hands nice and also projected quite well, so the shape was a little larger than they normally are and had curved corners at the bottom to support the hands. After cutting out a rough shape on both pieces of wood and a quick sand to clear it up, it was time to hollow out the maple. It's at this point I always regret using chisels on hardwood. But there is something special about using chisels and hand tools and embracing how people back in the day crafted things without the luxury of modern power tools. I also used a router. Using some tools and occasionally shouting at the wood, I had chiselled out the centre of the kalimba. Time to do some more sanding. So you may have noticed that slight hole I accidentally made in the wood here. But don't worry, that's just how the light's hitting it. There isn't actually anything there and there's nothing to fill up or anything. With the rough sand complete, it was time to connect the two pieces of wood together. People always say I need to use wood clamps in my videos, so this one's for you. With that drying, and a free evening, I decided to go with my friend to a metal concert in Manchester. Time to do some more sanding. It was now time to drill the sound holes into the instrument. After using precise measurements, I drilled two small holes either side of where the tines will go. With that ready, I applied a few coats of wood oil. I used organic linseed oil. This leaves a very slight shine and darkens the wood colour and leaves its natural grain. It takes about 10 days for organic linseed oil to fully dry. So, I decided to have a trip to Disney World. Now that oil is dry, it was time to attach the bridge and metal tines.
I was surprised at how much force was required to attach the tines to the keys. I used a tuning hammer to bend the keys in place. Some keys went on a lot easier than others. Some required a little more persuasion. After a bit of effort, all tines were attached. It was time to tune. If you make the tine shorter by hammering the key, that raises the pitch. If you make it longer, that lowers the pitch. This was tuned to a standard C major. with 15 tines attached, and with everything tuned, the kalimba was complete.